Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade has destroyed almost an entire battalion of Russian troops in Kharkiv region in northeast of Ukraine. In a post in its official Telegram channel, the brigade announced that it killed and injured 500 soldiers, destroyed a tank and a 152mm gun belonging to the Russian army over the past seven days. Almost an entire Russian battalion was liquidated in our section of the front, the brigade said, stressing that some 154 Russian soldiers were killed and 301 others were injured during the fighting. We destroyed the enemy's D-20 gun howitzer and a tank. Three Zala-type unmanned aerial vehicles, a radar station, antennas. Right now, our fighters are holding certain borders, the statement posted on the brigade's telegram channel reads. The group said Russian troops are conducting active storming operations, and brigade units are destroying them. Ukraine troops' counterattacks are underway in various part of the front. Earlier, Russian Defense Ministry reported that Russia's army's west and center groups captured two villages in Kharkiv and Donetsk regions in the east of Ukraine. There has been no official reaction from Kiev to the Russian Defense Ministry's statement. The gains came as Russian forces have been pushing the Ukrainian army in several directions for weeks. The powerful glide bombs that Russia uses to destroy Ukrainian cities are also falling on its own territory, the Washington Post reports, citing an internal Russian document. According to a document obtained by the Washington Post, at least 38 of these bombs fell in the Belgorod region on the border with Ukraine between April 2023 and April 2024, although most of them did not explode, the publication writes. Most of the bombs were discovered by civilians, foresters, farmers or residents of nearby villages. In most cases, the Ministry of Defense did not know when the bombs were launched, which suggests that some may have been there for days. According to the document, at least four bombs fell on the city of Belgorod itself. Another seven were found in the nearby suburbs. The largest number, 11, fell in the border region of Graveron, where some of them could not be found due to the complicated operational situation, the publication notes. However, many of the incidents in the document coincide with data received from local authorities and reports in local media. The people mentioned as witnesses confirm that they are residents of the city. Several more cases of aerial bombs falling have become known since the period discussed in the document. For example, on May 4, a bomb fell on Belgorod, injuring seven people and damaging more than 30 houses in a small village. On May 12, another explosion destroyed several floors of a residential building in Belgorod, killing 17 people. On June 15, in the city of Shebekino near Belgorod, an explosion occurred and part of a five-story building collapsed, killing at least five people, which is most likely another mistake in the use of a glider bomb. However, local authorities usually remain silent about the incidents, reporting only accidents, blaming Ukrainian shelling, or simply not reporting the various explosions that have occurred in the region, especially recently. According to Russian telegram channel Astra's own calculations, Russia has accidentally dropped more than a hundred bombs on its territory and occupied areas in eastern Ukraine over the past four months, a period during which there has been a significant increase in the use of glider bombs. A certain percentage of Russian bombs are defective. This problem has existed since they started using these bombs, and there is no fundamental solution to it. We think that these random releases are caused by the unreliability of these kits, which does not seem to bother the Air Force, said Ruslan Leviev, military expert at Conflict Intelligence Group. Russian occupation forces daily terrorize Ukrainian cities and the positions of Ukrainian troops on the front line with aerial bombs. In particular, the Kherson and Kharkov regions suffer from them. Thus, on June 27, the Russian military used the FAB-500 with glide bombs for the first time to strike Kharkov. In March, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that 3-ton FAB-3000 aerial bombs had been mass-produced in the Nizhny Novgorod region since the beginning of the year. 
In June, the first use of this bomb was reported, the Russians dropped it on the village of Lipsy in the Kharkov region.